This is a tombstone, and you've probably seen one before. Whether it be in a horror movie, in a cemetery on the side of a road, a cheap Halloween decoration, or in your creepy neighbor's backyard. But regardless of where you've seen one, there's probably one acronym that comes to mind. R.I.P. So what does R.I.P. stand for? Well, it's pretty common knowledge that R.I.P. stands for Rest in Peace. And it's basically a saying that pays tribute to someone who has passed away, and is often used at funerals and on gravestones. While Rest in Peace is a popular phrase today, where in the world did it actually come from? Well, would it surprise you to know that Rest in Peace has its roots in Latin? You mean the Latin that was used by ancient Romans who all wore togas and spoke in a British accent, and is used by quirky British school children for funny spells? Yes, that one. Rest in peace can trace its roots back to the Latin phrase requiescat in pace or pace, which is this guy's favorite phrase, and also has the convenience of having the same acronym as rest in peace. Quick side note here, there are two generally agreed upon ways of pronouncing Latin in the modern era. Classical Latin, which uses a hard C, as in pace, and ecclesiastical, which was and still kind of is used mainly by the Catholic Church, and uses a ch sound instead, as in pace. I will alternate between the two in the video depending on context, but know that both are valid when pronouncing Latin, and that they're both referring to the same language. Requiescat in pace translates to may he, she, or they rest in peace or harmony, and was used as a kind of prayer and phrase by early Christians, wishing that the deceased individual live a peaceful afterlife. The phrase requiescat in pace, or plural requiescant in pace, can trace its roots back to early Christianity, during the late Roman Empire and shortly after, when forms of the phrase started to be used by early Christians, on gravestones and possibly catacombs at around the 5th century AD, along with a similar phrase, dormit in pace, which meant, may they sleep in peace, which had a pretty similar meaning to good old R.I.P. There was also requiescat in pace in amore, which means, may they rest in peace and in love. Here, a form of requiescat in pace is seen on a Christian funerary tablet, dating to around 525 AD. Here's another, which was found at the San Eustorgio church in Milan. The exact date is on known, but appears to be somewhere between 400 to 700 AD, and the month appears to be somewhere in between August and October in today's calendar, but with all the cracks and crunchy resolution, it's hard to tell. Requiescat in pace would start to appear and become more common on Christian gravestones by around the 8th century AD, specifically on Roman Catholic gravestones due to the phrase's importance to the Roman Catholic Church. Requiescat in pace appears in the Tridentine Requiem Mass, a mass or ritual of worship performed in Latin that was used at Catholic funerals. From the medieval period to the Renaissance, requiescat in pace was still used predominantly by the Roman Catholic Church, but also started to gain popularity with other sects of Christianity as well, and was used in different languages like French, Italian, and English. The first time requiescat in pace or pace was abbreviated as RIP was around the 1610s, and by around the mid to late 1600s, the phrase started to gain traction in Western Europe due to it having a religious connotation as a prayer for the deceased. And and being a respectful phrase to honor the dead. And by the mid-1700s, the phrase became almost ubiquitous with the Christian tombstone in Western Europe. From the 1700s to the modern day, rest in peace has surged in popularity, and has become a phrase for all people, Christian or not. And the rest is history. Well, it was all history, but you get the point. Thanks for watching, and if you learned something new or know a friend who could, sharing this video does me and them a solid, so thank you. Also, sorry for the big gap between uploads. School has started again, and tests must be taken, and papers must be written, even if they're not so fun. I've also taken quite a while to plan videos for the future, but the good news is that I have scripts ready to go, and drawings being made. And going forward, I will be devoting more time to YouTube, so expect a new video by sometime around mid-November-ish. Once again, thank you for watching, and subscribing and liking really helps out the channel, and helps me make videos like these. So thank you, and have a wonderful day.